Hey folks, this is Josh Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog today. Well, there comes a point in time where every ear of corn needs to do a little something like this. Get in my belly. Today we're going to be working in the corn patch and we'll be working in the garden. We're going to go ahead and we're going to harvest all of our corn for the year. We're going to take the machete, we're going to hack down the corn, load it up on the back of the gator, and we'll take it up to the goats so the goats have some awesome snacks. So the ultimate recycling program here on the farm. We'll also take you around the garden. We'll show you what practices we're using in the garden. We have a huge, huge bounty of food here. We planted so much food. We've been giving it out to the neighbors. We've been using it ourselves. We just have so much garden. So come along today. We're going to have some fun. We'll take you through the garden and we'll start harvesting our corn. Be sure and pound that like button and subscribe to the channel and we'll show you what we do after this too. In a future vlog, we're going to show you how we're going to can our tomatoes. We're going to show you how we store our corn how we freeze our corn for the year and you know they're just little practices that are different from everybody else's that we do and it makes it delicious so come along let's have some fun all right Stony Ridge. from Stony Ridge Stony Ridge Farm So first of all, let's talk about the variety of corn that we're growing. This is Golden Queen corn, okay? Delicious, delicious Golden Queen corn. We've been eating corn on the cob out of this garden for probably the last three weeks, but it's time to go on and harvest it, cut it down, and I also have some melon vines up underneath the corn plants growing, so they'll start getting some more sun, and our melons will hopefully ripen. What we're gonna do here, basically, I'll show you. Let me go pick a good ear for you. So here's what the corn looks like. Absolutely awesome. We'll peel it back for you. No sprays, no no anything here this is golden queen corn awesome beautiful beautiful stuff so what we'll do is we'll harvest all this corn some of it's got worms in it and some of it's getting a touch of rot right here from where it's been so so humid this stuff is so good even right off of mm, right off of the stalk it's awesome stuff sweet and delicious it's going to make whoop, a little corn silk there it's going to make the best cream corn ever so if you guys like corn we'll show you how we make cream corn and it's basically just corn we're not adding milk or anything like that and we'll show you all that in a future vlog but today is all about the harvest and having some fun with the goats mm. Let's take you around the rest of the garden, all right? So if you guys didn't catch that vlog where we had the flood, right here it is. The good news is we haven't had to water in a while and the garden is just mush. I'll take you around each row. I've gotten behind, I'll admit it. I've gotten behind in picking, I've gotten behind in everything because it's just been so wet we couldn't get out here and take care of the garden. So I'll take you through it. This is kind of that time of year where the garden starts to like peter down a little bit and we start canning and start preserving and saving it so we have it in the winter time. So let's take you around the garden and I'll talk to you about each row of what's going on here. All right, folks, so here we are in the garden. That's a marigold right there and I planted those to keep pests out of the garden. Does it work? I don't really know. The jury's out on that. This is our row of burpless cucumbers and the rain has just decimated those burpless cucumbers. That's our corn and it is absolutely insane. It loves water. This is okra right here and let's turn around. These are our lima beans and these are our blue lake snap beans so this is our jurassic park okra it's really really taken off and it hasn't even started flowering yet this stuff is just huge this is our row of zucchini this is our row of yellow squash and these are cherry tomatoes that we didn't mean to plant i didn't mean to plant little bitty cherry tomatoes in our garden like that i don't know why they turned out like that but the chickens love them so as we're kind of standing in here you can see these are the giant sunflowers these are all gourds right here that are planted. There's a whole row. And then there's some more okra. These are the marigolds here in the middle of the garden. And we're still getting squash and stuff, and we're still getting lots of tomatoes. But the tomato vines are getting a little bit on the leggy side, and it's time to get in there. Look at that. They just got wet and turned into a disaster. Well, we'll get in here and we'll pick all these today, and we're gonna start canning tomorrow. So we've already got a whole bunch of tomatoes set aside. These are our Roma tomatoes, the ones we really, really want to can. Awesome. Now what we don't can in the tomato department, we'll call family and have family come and pick more. And we'll just keep on sharing this stuff with neighbors and family until the garden's completely gone. We have wintertime crop planting coming up, so we got a plan for our winter garden here pretty soon. We're going to have a lot of fun with that too, so be sure and stick to the vlog. Let's get in this corn patch, get busy. We're going to pick the corn, put it in buckets, and we're going to take the machete and load the gator down with a whole bunch of corn plants to feed the goats. You're going to love watching these goats chow down. 
Oh, I almost forgot. We got our melon patch right here, and as you can see, the water has gotten into the melon patch and kind of killed our melons. We got one nice little watermelon looking good right there, though. Pretty awesome stuff. So, we got some work ahead of us, guys. Some work. Now, I don't know how you say this, but best laid plans of mice and men trying to get all this corn harvested today. I'm not so sure I can get it done. It's about 6 o'clock in the evening. It's been so hot and sticky outside that... I just haven't been out here doing it. I've been posting videos for you guys. So I'm gonna get in here, just start plucking away, and me and Mrs. Stony Ridge got some work ahead of us tomorrow. It's gonna be fun. We're at the product review portion of our fabulous vlog today. <laughs> this is the cheapest machete that you can buy on Amazon. And that's what I'm gonna use today, the cheapest machete you can buy on Amazon. It'll be a link down below. I don't have a discount code, but we're gonna do a little review. I've already used it for chopping poison ivy vines, so let's hope it doesn't have any oil on it so I don't get poison ivy from it. Nice, daddy like it. Good stuff. Let Stony Ridge Farmer, shouldn't you leave all that in the field for it to rot and provide biomass for the soil? Well, no, I'm not doing that. Let's get you in here closer and show you this thing in action. And I'll show you something cool that my grandfather showed me 35 years ago. Uh, does very good, very good job. Very happy with it. All right, we'll cut that. And here's what grandpa taught me. So grandpa Stony Ridge taught me this awesome trick. Corn, the stalk at the bottom, it's just like sugar cane. It's really sweet and delicious and makes for a great snack. So if you're out in your cornfield and you want a good snack, nothing like a corn stalk to make you feel good. Mm. That's why the goats like it so much. Delicious. Let's get to work. A lot of this corn has gotten ruined by the rain. It's kind of disappointing. That's okay. As I'm working my way through here, I've discovered a few things and I want to talk to you about them. So we had, if you look at the tip of this corn, we had Japanese beetles get into our corn and they just chewed the silks down. If you don't know a whole lot about corn, well, the silk is the female part and the male part is the tassel. So the tassel puts out the pollen and the silk catches the pollen and each individual silk is attached to one kernel of corn. And as you can see, Japanese beetles got in there and they ate all the silks down. So we have a very spotty ear of corn. So these little flat pieces are just unfertile, unfertilized corn. And this is not good, it's goat food. Oh guys, I got a lot more work ahead of me. The machete is working great. It's a great corn harvester. <laughs> so I'm gonna get busy here. I'm gonna work in the field. We'll load this stuff up and put it on the back of the gator. I'm probably only gonna do about half of this and then we'll take it all to the goats. And that way they get a good snack tomorrow too. So we'll get busy in the morning on this. I'll show you what we harvested out of here. It's not gonna be much because of all this rain. It's caused some of it to develop a mold or a mildew on it and that's just not good to eat. So. We'll see how she goes. We've got one more corn garden up at the top of the hill and it looks beautiful. We'll show you that when we go up to the goats. Can't wait to be called a liberal because I'm feeding my corn to my goats. <laughs> now you might be wondering why I planted melons in my corn patch. Well, the answer is I didn't plant melons in my corn patch. They came up volunteer from last year and I didn't pull them as weeds. So we've got some awesome cantaloupes and watermelons now. A smart person would have backed the gator up right there and not have to load it up. He would have just tossed it right on the gator. But not this smart guy. I've been running around this farm just chasing them chickens that are running along me. Yeah. I've been running around this farm just chasing them chickens that are running along me. Yeah. Now that is some good goat snacks. <laughs> That's a pile of work right there. Let's take it to the goats and watch them have fun. Oh guys, we got a beautiful, beautiful sunset going on right here. Check it out. That's a beautiful sunset right there. So the goat pen is about 500 yards away and I got a loaded up rickshaw right here. Hopefully I don't lose the whole load. I think it'll be all right though. We'll go up and see the goaties. 
it's so funny how when I get out here and I show like how to do stuff in the garden and I'm feeding my goats from the garden and how I care about stuff that people like to involve politics. <laughs> I don't want to mix my politics and my corn. I just want to have some fun here on the farm, show you guys some cool things. About every night we have somewhere in the neighborhood of 30 or 40 deer that come up here. Our dogs are giving chase on a deer right now. So here's our other corn patch. It's doing pretty well, but the rain has kind of gotten to it too. Some of it's fallen down, you can see right there, but it's just starting to shoot up tassels. Awesome. There's the goats. Hey, goaties. Hey, goats. Let's go up here and feed the goats. There you go. <laughs> Man, they love that stuff. As you'll see here in a second, feeding time with the goats is always a great, wonderful sharing time for them. They'll start beating themselves in the head. Those are fainting goats, by the way. Some of them may fall over. Well, folks, I'm glad I could take you along with me today. Be sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new to the vlog here and check out more farm fun stuff. We'll be showing you how we preserve our corn, how we put it up for the winter. We'll be showing you how we can our tomatoes, all kinds of fun stuff. It's that time of year when we're starting to preserve our food. So we'll have some good yummy stuff from the garden from the winter. So thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate you. We're gonna feed the rest of this stuff to the goats. Go back in the house, relax, watch a little TV and sit back with Mrs. Stony Ridge. She is not out here in the garden with me today because she does not do so well with the bugs. <laughs> That's okay. She has her place, I have my place, and we work together and we live together and we have a wonderful life. Thanks a lot, guys, I appreciate you. We'll see you next time on the Stony Ridge Farm. Hopefully we'll be freezing up this corn. We'll show you what we do to keep it and we'll show you how to can tomatoes soon. All right, thanks a lot. Woo! Land of the free and the home of the brave I'm proud of who I am and I'm proud of what I made on a stony reef <laughs> So many deer that the dog don't even notice <laughs> No, no Good dogs. Come here. Come. Good dogs. Come here. Good dogs. Good dog. Good listeners. Good girl, Lexi. Good girl. <laughs>